Hello, my name's Taylor Wynn, and for the last year, I've been working remote and solo traveling in different countries. After being in Barcelona for a few weeks, which I have a vlog on, I went to Madrid, Spain, and I spent about a week there. I loved it, definitely want to go back, but today we're headed to Dubrovnik, Croatia. Welcome to Dubrovnik. Dubrovnik. I'm so excited to be here and I feel like I got like the perfect Airbnb. Super cute, but look at this friggin' view. Are you kidding me? Here's the little kitchen, coffee machine, love to see it. Nice bathroom and there's a washing machine which I'm really excited to use because I've been hand washing for the last like three weeks. And then here's the cute bedroom. Really big, like this apartment's pretty big. You know how I feel about Airbnbs with full length mirrors. They know what's up. Oh, and then a really nice big closet. And I'm going to be here for three weeks. So definitely going to fully unpack, put all my clothes away, hang it up and stuff. I feel like I'm really living here for a few weeks. I'm going to go find some food. Okay, I went to dinner, it was so good. And then I stopped by to get groceries, which was a bit of a hike. Not bad, actually like 15 minute walk, but it's like all uphill. So it was a workout carrying these back. I just got some basics. I didn't get everything because I didn't want the bags to be like too heavy to carry back, but I just got like eggs, cheese, salami down here, yogurt for breakfast, a couple like snacky things some coffee i got a couple of fun things i wanted to try this it's like shine mousse from schwarzkopf curious if any of you have tried that and then i also needed body wash and this is argon oh my god it smells really good argon and vanilla this looks like this is italian whipped cream <laughs> i love eating whipped cream just like straight for like dessert and then i just got a couple like soups just in case i'm in you know emergency meal mode these remind me of bamba they're like peanut snacks and then I got some deodorant because, you know, I gotta, I'm still on the hunt for the world's best deodorant here. I'm about to FaceTime Rach while I unpack all of my suitcases here. So I'm about to do a couple loads of laundry, but I wanted to show you for those of you who maybe haven't seen this before. This is the a European like top load kind of washer. There's no dryer. I mean, I don't actually think I've seen anywhere in Europe with a dryer. Actually comment down below if you live somewhere in a European country and you have a drying machine. I'm curious. Most people just, you hang dry. You just unclip this so it like manually opens. That's where you load your clothes and everything. If you're a European watching this, you're probably just LOLing right now, but you know, we don't have these. They actually have detergent here that I can use, but I've been carrying around these two personal <laughs> pods and they're actually kind of heavy. So I'm just gonna use one of these since I have them. And then I'm gonna add some of this uh, softener. This actually smells so good. I think this is gonna be a good combo. I'm excited. Love me some laundry. Okay, truly this this laptop cover, unless you want to be cleaning fingerprints literally every time you touch it, don't get a soft silicone case like this. It drives me crazy. It's the first night still, which is crazy for me to be functioning right now. Normally, I just count on being like totally out of commission the days that I fly. Today, it's a miracle. I was able to go to dinner. I went grocery shopping. I walked all the groceries back. I did laundry. I showered. <laughs> self and unpacked everything. Like I have nothing in my suitcases right now. I fully unpacked, which feels so good because I haven't done that. I think since Chicago, maybe. Yeah, I think in May, that was the last time I like fully unpacked, I feel like. Washing machine is going, so that's what that sound is, but this is nothing crazy, but <laughs> I unpacked, hung up the stuff. I have to see, steam some of my clothes, you know put clothes in here. I think I'm just gonna keep my makeup out here honestly and like sit on the floor to do my makeup each day because I have like with the really nice window right there. Got the shoes down here. Can't show you the bathroom because that thing sounds like it's literally gonna fly away. Now I'm going to do some Croatia planning. What time is it right now? It's 9 10 p.m. Whenever I'm having a day like this I like don't want to go to sleep because then you don't know how you're gonna wake up tomorrow but just embrace the the feeling good to get everything done that I can, you know? But I like to go on Google Maps and for each city now, I actually have a whole saved list. You just like save the spot and then you can add a note. And so then whenever you're walking around a new city, you might be like right next to one of your saved spots. So then it just is really nice when you're like hangry and hot and walking around traveling, you already know where you're gonna eat and you know it's like a good spot with good reviews. But I do try to book a few different like day trips, half day trip from wherever I am. And you actually can go to Bosnia in Herzegovina from here, which is crazy. It's only two hours away. Like one of the towns is two hours away. But yeah, I'll just kind of do some research on the city I'm in. I just 
read Google articles and then make a note like in the Apple Notes app on like all the things I want to do and then I'll just book things. Usually it takes like a few hours maybe to do like the whole trip. I really like planning those so this is like fun for me. All right, I'm off to do Dubrovnik things. I booked the walking tour, so I'm gonna get the bus ride over there. Not the city walls, that's like a separate one, but just the old town. And then I might come back and work for a little bit and then maybe do the cable car later if I can, but we'll just see, but gotta go. Croatia is not on your bucket list. Add it. This is your sign to just wander around sometimes because I just went like in these random super tiny side streets and found the coolest waterfront, like, rocky beach bar thing. explain to you how insanely beautiful this is like I thought it was gonna be pretty but this is like next level oh my god my okay we're good today the first half of the day was magical wow I'm like fully blown away by Dubrovnik so far it is insanely beautiful seriously add Croatia to your bucket list like I'm already thinking about when I can come back here because I'm not going to split this trip but now I know I for sure want to come back and like spend even more time here. October, 10 out of 10, perfect time to come to Croatia. The guide on the walking tour this morning was saying that there's normally like 15,000 people in the old town and it was like pretty empty relative to like, I mean, I saw, you know, Italy and Rome and stuff in the summer and it was, it was like that. It was just total zoo. So if you're planning a trip, come in October because it's like perfect weather. You can still go to the beach, still go in the water, but it's not nearly as busy as the summer. I've been trip planning for the last now pretty much five hours. It was one of those puzzles. Like sometimes I feel like trip planning goes like super quick. I'm like, okay, I'm going here, here, boom, boom, get the flights, you know, whatever. A mosquito. This time I just could not get good flights out of Dubrovnik and I looked up like every possible route. Anyways, had to change plans on a bunch of stuff, cancel stuff, but now I'm going somewhere that I wasn't even on my radar really, so that's exciting. There's just, there's too many places I wanna see in the world, you know, in too little time. So choosing places to go, there's like certain places where I'm like, okay, I know I'm gonna go back there so I don't feel like I need to see like everything, everything. And then there are other places where I'm like, okay, this is a one time, you know, I wanna see as much as I can because I probably maybe won't be back here. So I need to start editing the real estate video. You've already seen it by the time this goes up. It's the San Diego real estate video. I think I'm just gonna have little snacky things for dinner. I also have this two tuna pack. These are actually really good things to carry around. I just have this from home because they don't expire. I mean, they do, but it takes forever to expire it. This protein just packs a tuna and you can, you know, have to refrigerate it. Really good to travel with if you're just like having a night like tonight where you need a bite of something. I just filmed the intro for a real estate video that's going up. It's already up the San Diego one, but I think I'm gonna change and then now try to go walk and get some lunch. I haven't seen the beach or anything. Basically, I'm like in between the old city and this. I don't actually know what that area is called yet. and there's literally no one. It's so nice. I'm just like sitting along the water. I should have put on my swimsuit, but it's a little bit breezy, so I figured a beach day is in order for another day.
currently on a bit of a random adventure. I'm just on these like back roads right now. I just ate lunch at a place that was good, got some grilled chicken. And I also got some like sunglasses and a little hat. It's interesting, there's not many shops here at all. Like I was thinking like, oh, I'll get a couple sundresses to wear while I'm here, I won't pack them. But there's actually like, there's an H&M like 20 minutes away and then there's not really anything in between. So it's interesting, but now I'm headed back. Okay, here's the accessories haul, <laughs> this hat. I keep thinking I don't need to pack my hats and then I end up wanting them. Pretty cute, fits good. Like the shape, it's like not too wide brim. It's nice and lightweight. Two pairs of sunglasses that were pretty cheap. They were like eight bucks each basically. Here's one pair, cute. Brown gold action. I'm actually really glad because I lost my pair that was like this or I, I have no idea where they are. I like these ones. These are like the chill glasses, you know? Okay, I got this little headband because I have a vision for this photo. I think this with like sunglasses with like a white sundress would look really cute and look very beachy, I don't know. I attempted to make that soup, which I didn't realize was actually powdered. I don't know, man. I mean, I boiled it literally for like 10 minutes so I to do it for five and it just wasn't getting not powdery. These lentil chips do. Foundation combo I discovered that is so good. Tower 28, this SPF is a tinted SPF, light to medium coverage, depending on how you apply it, it's very glowy. I love this stuff on its own, but mixed in with a little bit of this new milk makeup concealer. It's like full coverage, but it looks like skin. I've used this on its own too as just foundation. It looks really pretty, but mixed in, oh my God. Like gives you a little more coverage, but still has the finish of this one. I still have to put my lips on after I eat breakfast, but here's the face. I feel like it actually looks not as good on camera as like what it looks like in real life, but oh my God, it looks so pretty. When I wore the Milk Makeup Concealer on its own just as foundation, 10 out of 10 and didn't crease. It just looked like really gorgeous and had this like pretty, look at this finish. One of the really cool things here is there's all these like side pathways. So if you just stop following your map, like just take some of the side pathways, I found that usually you can end up in like a pretty cool view with like no one else. Cause I don't think most people go down these little roads. Look at this, this is the view I ended up at and literally no one is in this entire, entire park. The stairs gone now, let's do it. Oh my God, literally no one here, just like a private beach. I'm gonna try and put my phone right there and get a photo like over here. This is how you get photos solo traveling, your rocks are your tripods. All right, well that was a total fail. I didn't get a single photo where uh, I was in frame and I've been doing this for about uh, 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna go try to find a, a human. That's my backup option. I just, you know, ask a real life human. It's hit or miss. Update, the cutest old guy who was just swimming by himself, walked around the corner and offered to take my photo. So here's the photo that he took. sushi water right here literally no one here besides this bird just did a tiktok reel on <laughs> what's in my beach bag by the way i'm on this like rooftop bar place but it's empty pizza and this view done and I'm in love. It's like the perfect pink color. It was all about nails number four. It was the shade and then she did silver glitter and then I just got groceries. These remind me of Fig Newtons. I love a good Fig Newton. Don't know about you. Tried this yogurt the other day and it was so good. It's pistachio and this was delicious. It's like Greek yogurt but pistachio flavored. Got some strawberry, couple of those. Butter because I'm gonna make pasta. Gourmet meal here but this is what I'm gonna make for dinner tonight. I got 
mushrooms, where are they? Mozzarella, can of mushrooms, and I have some squash or uh, zucchini too. Okay, not my worst work, not my best work. Turns out this Gouda doesn't melt. I don't know if this is a known fact to everyone except me, but so I have blobs of cheese. It was a nice idea. Hello, good morning. It is a good morning because uh, I've been in migraine hell the last four days. Yesterday afternoon was the first day that it finally let off, but it was full, you know, shot in the leg, puking, the whole thing, and it just, none of my meds were working. Uh, yeah, I'm very happy to be out of bed today, and yesterday it was so lovely. Whenever you come out of one, oh my god, you just like, the appreciation for just being outside is next level. I went to DM. DM is like the main I think it's the main drugstore here and the one i'll put it on the map here if you're in dubrovnik and you want to check out like a good drugstore oh my god they had it was huge they had everything i got some makeup i'll do like a haul in a minute but i do want to try this this is their brand and i think it was the equivalent of like four dollars five dollars hopefully i got the right shade i got a few fun things it's already like the days are past and man it's crazy i basically have like a week left and i still have so many things on my list that uh-oh, this is gonna be too dark. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my cheeks and then mix in a little bit of something else. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, the days are passing. So I wanna have another beach day. I wanna swim. So that's what's happening today. And then I gotta come back and work. I worked last night pretty late till 2 a.m. to try and get caught up on some stuff. I'm gonna mix in the say slip tint. I don't know why I'm twisting that to pull off. This stuff, by the way, applies very differently if you're using your fingers versus a brush. I like a brush way better. I found this like hotel that has good Wi-Fi that's right above the beach thing I like to go to. So I might actually just bring my laptop and maybe work from there. Maybe like lay by the water for a little bit and then bring my laptop and work from there. Do a two in one. Those two mixed are looking nice. I mean, this one basically just darkened it. I've now rescheduled this Bosnia trip like three times. Feel very bad. The people are probably like, wow, this chick is extremely flaky, but just haven't been able to make it. So I'm really hoping, she said that now there's just like so few tourists that they're just kind of texting me the night before if they have enough people to even go on the trip. So hopefully that can happen before I leave. I feel like I'm almost out of this already. It's the Lawless Brow Gel. I love it, but ooh, skin's looking glowy. I also got this bronzer, but first I'm gonna do concealer, but this is the Evelyn Glow and Go Bronzing Powder. I've never heard of this brand. It's in the shade Jamaica. Bay. You guys, the milk concealer. Oh my god, so good. So creamy, full coverage, last, beautiful. I'm gonna do a little light, light bronzer. I can keep trying that, but the tone is very pretty, and this was also like three dollars, I think. Okay, I'm gonna finish doing my very minimal beach makeup here. So here are the things I picked up at DM. I got makeup wipes because I'm about to run out of mine. I don't know quite if these are removing makeup or just like toning pads. I got these razors, which I did try one. And the reason why I picked these up is because, well, they're all like, you know, eco-friendly and stuff, but they're very lightweight. And oh my God, the razors were so much cheaper. I feel like everything in general was so much cheaper. All of this stuff. Oh, and self-tanner, let me grab it. Forgot self-tanner, but all this stuff was equivalent to about $28, which is wild. Like this would have been so much more expensive. I got this tanner to try and I have it on right now. So far it's very light and like my hands definitely got darker. Look at my hands versus my arms. Okay, it looks worse in this lighting, I feel like hopefully. Definitely gonna have to do another coat. It's pretty light, but trying it. But the razors were okay. Cut myself a few times. Not amazing. This smells heavenly. It's vanilla, vanilla leave-in conditioner, like vanilla hair mask. I just got a lot of their brand stuff. I mean, they had a bunch of different brands, but because I've never tried their brand and it was cheap, I was just curious. Then the BB cream, bronzer, and then this was like three dollars i want to say and it's beauty oil i was just curious putting this over tanner i always like a glowy you know like a glowy body thing and if this absorbs in i don't know i just want to try it i am running out of my brow product so i wanted to try this it's from their brand trended up magnesium gel to try then i went to the pharmacy and i got another hot water bottle i always get asked where i get mine literally just like in the u.s rite aids but you can always find these at different pharmacies on amazon my latest one is from amazon I've had it 
it for I want to say like a year now and it's just now starting to rip they always do like they'll eventually kind of get too hot and like start melting here like get a hole but I use mine literally 15 times a day every single day so it's time for a new one came with a cute little case and then I have to oh I have to put this on I forgot then I got a screen protector one thing I feel like is a must if you're in Dubrovnik is going to the Panorama restaurant even if you don't want to eat there go get a drink you can take Uber up and it's about four euro and then take the cable car down the cable car is pretty expensive so that's why i did uber one way and uber is actually cheaper than taxi in dubrovnik here's the freaking view at the top it is unreal you have to book a reservation like months in advance especially during the high season i actually did book one but i got my date wrong so i ended up sitting inside it was okay the food was actually really good it was pricey but the food was delish you could just get a drink, stand out here like these people, and you watch the cable car go down. Here's the ride down. It was such a good experience. I would totally recommend doing this if you're coming to Dubrovnik. I just finished Beach Read by Emily Henry, and I thought it was so cute. It was like a good feel-good one. Have it on airplane mode. If your Libby book is about to expire, put on airplane mode, and it won't. That was so horrible. <laughs> hated that book. Now I don't want to read anything else by Taylor Jenkins read, honestly. Okay, I just filmed a shadow and schmooze on how I've been feeling a little bit. Haven't talked about it in this vlog, but there's been highs and lows. You know, it's life. There's highs and lows. It's up before this vlog. It's now two o'clock. I need to get this video edited, so I'm just gonna be doing a camp out in here. I have a couple calls in a couple hours too, so I don't really want to go to a coffee shop. Like how the makeup turned out though, besides the eyeshadow, if you saw, you know. North the mess behind me. We have some catching up to do while I eat leftovers and get ready. So it's actually Halloween when I'm filming this. I haven't vlogged in a few days. I've just been going through it a little bit, physically, emotionally, all of it, but just feeling a little lonely here. So I did what I said I was thinking of doing in that video and I booked a hostel. So it's Halloween tonight. I'm gonna go show up at this hostel. I know they have like a Halloween party going on and then I think they're going to like some clubs or something. I stopped by there earlier. I'm doing it. I'm like pushing myself to just go out. Um, I think I'm gonna be real creative and just be like a spider because <laughs> I have all black. I'm gonna put on like combat boots and then just like paint spider webs on my eyes. And by paint, I mean use the one eyeliner I have. Typically, if you show up to a hostel by yourself, it always ends up fine. I'm trying to think like in the last 10 years of doing this, if I've had a new situation where it was just like a total bust. And I'm sure there have been times, but like, I don't know, I just think it'll be good. If not, I can always just come back here, you know? So I wanna try because I don't wanna have regrets that I like didn't go out or didn't try to meet people or whatever. So wish me luck. I hope you all had a good Halloween wherever you are in the world. Halloween is actually one of my favorite holidays, if not my favorite, especially in college. I used to go all out for Halloween. I love a good Halloween party, but this year I just, I didn't even think about it. I think I was just thinking like, okay, I'm not gonna go out, so I'm not gonna put effort into thinking about it. This is as good as it's gonna get this year. <laughs> I might do a red lip. I think I will, because I gotta like, I gotta take it up a notch here, you know, this is all I've got going on. Black skirt, this is actually the tennis skirt uh, from Amazon, I'll show you. That's a sock, by the way. But this is the tennis skirt. I love how it fits. I feel like it's very flattering. I don't have heels, so I'm wearing combat boots, but I feel like it kind of goes with the whole spider thing, you know, like looks a little intense. Okay, honestly, bonus points because this skirt, I don't even have to bring a purse. There's friggin' pockets and it fits my keys, my phone, everything. I 
I actually repurchased this because it's been working so well. So if you can find this and a lot of deodorants don't work on you, maybe try this out. And then I'm gonna dye my hair tonight. It's been actually been an exactly four weeks since I've done it, like exactly to the day. And got some chili for dinner. And then I just got some vegetables and other stuff. Of course, forgot my reusable bag. Okay, I've got my turtleneck on inside out because it is time for doing it. So I figured I would have a little chat, end off this vlog, thoughts on Croatia, tips, whatever. Let's just chit chat while I dye my roots. So I was here for three weeks, a little over three weeks. And overall, I think if Croatia has not been on your radar, I feel like it's very underrated. So I stayed in Dubrovnik for the whole time. That was my plan because I've been bouncing around so much that I needed a few weeks to like stay in one place, not pack and unpack and just get work done, see stuff, but also like have some solid relax time so i feel like it's been like a good recharging kind of for me but i definitely want to come back and go to zadar Hvar, split there's a bunch of other like amazing places in croatia now knowing dubrovnik so dubrovnik is really small coming back or if you're doing this the same thing i think go to split i've heard split is like bigger city just kind of like more going on more co-working spaces more people working remote like it was pretty empty here partially time of year but i'm happy i chose dubrovnik but yeah if you're coming for a long time i would say probably go to split wait what do you pour you just pour this out of here i guess we'll look at the instructions <laughs> the reason why i initially chose dubrovnik over split was because i actually had split booked and then i like last minute switched it because i read somewhere that split was more like party town dubrovnik was more like chill if you want beaches and good food and stuff i'm into food and good beaches so i switched it to dubrovnik wow but still loved Dubrovnik. Super safe for women or for solo travelers. The way everyone explained it here was like, everyone knows everyone in Dubrovnik. So really the like crime and everything is super low. You can walk around at night. I saw older women walking alone at night, all like all ages, just, it feels very safe. You don't really have to worry about like pickpocketing or anything. Obviously still be aware because you're a tourist, but still. Not sure if that's the same for the rest of Croatia, but Dubrovnik at least that's how it was. Ah oh, shit, you need a bowl for this one. Okay, I guess I'm getting a kitchen bowl. I'm gonna hope that this doesn't like color this bowl. By the way, I have towels down and everything. I'm, I'm pretty good for the most part, knock on wood, at not getting hair dye anywhere now. If you're coming, October, man. October is the way to go. Beginning to mid-October, perfect weather. The tourist, like main tourist season is over. Perfect time. I heard Dubrovnik can get like friggin' insane in the summer. A little tip, November 1st, a lot of stuff permanently shuts down like for the season, restaurants, a bunch of stuff. So just know that if you're coming around then. Uber, very cheap. Uber is cheaper than taxis. So don't do the taxis, just use Uber or take the bus or walk. Tip well, their economy here is based solely on tourism. So if you can tip and tip well because they depend on it for the rest of the year. There are a bunch of day trips from Dubrovnik. You can go to Montenegro, which I wanna do a whole other trip to Montenegro. So I decided not to do that. I don't think I talked about it. I can't remember. My Bosnia trip, I was supposed to go to Bosnia for the day and I like paid for it, everything. That was like in the middle of the, the bad migraine phase of this trip. And since then, because there's not enough tourists, I've been waiting to get like rebooked, but there's not enough people going on the trips to make it worth it for them. So, so far I haven't been able to reschedule that. I have like two more days in my time here. So hopefully one of those days that'll work out and I can go to Bosnia. It's like Mostar and the waterfalls. Wow, this is some real strong hair dye. Holy shit. I also wanna say if you're working remote, I just found out about two websites I had no idea about that kind of like changed the game and I'm gonna start doing this probably in other cities. Wi-Fi Nomad? I'll put it in here, Wi-Fi something. Both of them do, I think like organized trips. I haven't super looked into it, but a friend just told me about it. And now I'm like, wow, that would have been real great for the last year. Like people in their thirties doing the same exact thing. Everyone working remote and literally gonna be using a fork to put this on my roots, but you know what, whatever. Then you have like kind of a built-in community like a hostel, but without staying in a hostel. Honestly, I think it's hit or miss. I think sometimes there are people in their like late 20s and stuff in hostels, but I mostly hung out with a guy volunteering at the hostel who was in his like mid 30s. Everyone else was like very young and it, it felt like that, you know, like you just, there's just such a difference. I think between early to mid 20s and 30, there's just, I don't know, if there's something, there's a big gap. So I think doing more of the work remote trips in like that kind of community will be perfect. So I'm going north 
for my next trip. Leave your guesses down below in the comments. If you follow me on Instagram by the time this vlog goes up, maybe I'll have shared where I am, maybe not. I actually might like just be getting there. It's somewhere I've never been before. I'll be there for a couple weeks. And actually a lot of you live there, I learned through Instagram when I posted a question about it. So maybe I'll run into you if you see me. Say hello, I always love meeting you guys. So I'm guessing these gloves are pretty loud and crinkly. So I'm gonna dye my hair and end off this vlog here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Croatia vlog. Let me know what you think of the editing. I spent a long time editing this video in like different, basically over the course of the whole time I was here, I was like editing in chunks. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I tried to get a little more creative in some parts, tried out a different intro. So I hope you liked that. But thanks for watching. Have a big lump of hair dye on my hand. Love you guys. See you in my next video. Bye. Now I gotta press the camera off button. Did not think this through. What do I believe? What makes me feel it to write you this?